a pay. But my man will not let me pay. Yeah, that's how I am, girl. <laughs> I will be like, I got it. Uh, now, no. no, I'm going to pay. I, I'm that type of girl. That's why I wanted to know, like, because I don't not who, not if you trying to date me. Hell no, nigga. I ain't paying for right. nothing. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, if we're in a relationship, we've already been dating. You know, I'm feeling your vibe. Da da da. Oh, okay. I'll pull out my wallet. You know, do a real cute. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm with that. So that's why I wanted to know, like, how y'all feel? Y'all need to give me those. Give me y'all. Hey you guys, it's Poppin' it's your girl Queen and I'm back with another video. So I have my girl Dana here again. Okay, I have her here again, y'all. So y'all liked our last video, so we're about to get straight into another video. We got some good topics today, but this time y'all we got some food, we got some wings, we got some strips, we got some fries, and we got our little wine here. Wanna take a cheers? Cheers. So we got a little wine, so we about to get straight into these topics, y'all. Okay, you oh. know, just boundaries, period. Like, just, just it's broad. Like, I can start. Um, um well, what? Okay, so one thing I do want to say about boundaries is, um, okay, so my mom used to tell me, and y'all gotta tell me how y'all feel about this, this statement. My mom used to tell me to always watch the females you bring around your men, and growing up, I can say that that shit is true. It's true from my perspective. I, I've i had some run-ins when it came to certain friends being around um, my dudes, so. Me too. Yeah. Likewise. Um, and that's true. I've heard it too with my, with my mother and grandmother, grandmother especially. And I've definitely had an experience. I'm actually talking about this experience, y'all. Ooh. I'm not going to name no names, but. Drop them. No, I'm just lying. I was dating this guy. And he had a friend and like he was always around his friend you know back this is when i was younger and stuff so i'm like ooh, like he's single let him put him let me put him on my friend like he was a good guy had a job had money a good head on his shoulders you know what i'm saying put her on him we went we went to shoot pool y'all and like oh yeah Oh my gosh, y'all like, we went to shoot pool and everybody's like in like comfortable clothes like we had one. Mm -hmm. She has these, when I tell you, the shortest of the shortest, it was like a skirt, yeah. Now I'm not tripping about what she was wearing, it was what she was doing, what mm -hmm. she was in. So, I mean, she's been all over the table, you can see her old, her whole ass and everything. The girl ain't even had no panties on. Girl. I'm like, okay, cool. One of you tripping. We, we go downtown. And I'm gonna make the short story. I mean, short. It's <laughs> really not a big deal. That that was in the past. But um, yeah, we went downtown, we chilling, and so my boyfriend at the time like gets in like gets by the statue to take a picture. She comes like right up beside him while he's taking a picture. Like, but anytime we went anywhere, she was like always trying to be in his face. But she got a whole dude that I hooked her up with. It was mad weird. Like, and so I didn't say nothing because I'm the type of person like, I would just let you just hang yourself. Yeah. The guy was just like, bro, she can't come around no more. Like, she yeah. just be doing too much. I'm like. And they think that's what dudes be wanting. But yeah. yeah they be talking about y'all. They might smash, but they don't talk about y'all. Right. That's how um, they want to But yeah, but that's crazy. I also had a run-in too. I don't even want to talk about it, but I had a couple <laughs> run-ins. And those type of females, I just don't understand. Another thing is, I don't understand. This is not on the female, on the uh, friendship topic, but this is just a, a sidebar. Why would you want to be a side chick? What do you get out of being a side chick? Now, I kind of say, maybe you get a little money, but you ain't getting the time. You ain't getting, like, I don't understand why people like being a side chick or why people even be like, oh, my God, like, thinking y'all something, y'all not. I don't get it. But it's okay, really yeah. whack. It's so whack. It it's really whack and played out. Right. Um, but to each his own. You do you, girl. Yeah. I still need to know exactly, like, What's ba what boundaries are you are you thinking? As okay. Far as what? So yeah, um, say for instance, you telling me about what you're going through with your husband, mm -hmm. boyfriend, wife, whatever. 
um, as a friend, yes, you can give your opinion. You can tell me the truth, like how you feel about it. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people may feel like, oh, I'm wrong with what I'm about to say. But when you come around my man the next time, don't get to why you do my girlfriend like that. And that, like, or trying to fight him or like just tapping out. I mean, be mad at me for going back to him. Right. Okay. Like, don't do that because we all, oh. all, all ladies do this. You'll talk about your frustrations about the person you love or you care about. And go back. And go back to him. Mm -hmm. Relationship may end in the future, but that don't mean that you gotta, as a friend, just be there for me. I don't need you to go the extra mile and tell him what he's doing wrong. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So boundaries. I feel like have your boundary and have your, know your place. Yeah. Period. Point blank. Yeah, I also I agree with that. Um, I don't care if I told you a hundred million times that I'm done with him. Done. If I go back, let me be done. <laughs> let me do it in peace. Okay. I understand you trying to be there for me, but I need you to be my friend. Seriously. You can tell me. Of course, I want you to tell me. Like, look, girl, you. This is what, but don't be doing the most about it. Mm -hmm. Just don't be doing the most about it because we all have been in that situation. Just let it happen. Mm -hmm. And one day I'm gonna get it in my mind that it's not gonna work out, and we gonna we gonna move along. Mm -hmm. Oh, friendships who who uh, thinks it's okay to tell your business. Yes. I don't know if y'all ever had those type of people, but. Friends who think it's okay to tell your business, like, if you told them something, and I don't know, I don't know exactly where I'm trying to go with this, but. I mean, I feel you. I feel you. I know where you're trying to go with it. First of all, whatever happens in my house or whatever I tell you, I don't need you to tell the whole world. Yeah. I know. Right. I you're my you. friend. Right. weird but you okay, know this friendship stuff is kind of hard y'all just be some good friends okay? yes please just be there for us do the right thing do what i'll do to you you do back to me okay period reciprocation is queen. we need some loyalty in these friendships we need to make some money together we need to just be friends okay keep it real stay away from our men you <laughs> uh we're gonna stay away from your men and we just gonna be we're gonna be good just yeah. know how to be a friend, period. Don't be telling our business. Don't be running around doing whatever y'all do now. Yeah. Just be real. a damn friend. Other, <laughs> this food is so good. So, people are surviving. It's so broad. It's like, okay, it's yes. kind of big. But, like, do you feel like a lot of people in this world today is just surviving? I do, actually. Yeah, I do too. And it's, it's it's becoming a little why do you feel like people are surviving let's say that um okay in my opinion i feel like people are surviving because well trying to survive because one nobody wants to work anymore which that's fine that's perfectly fine that's so good that we want our own businesses and stuff that's so good because normally we would but i feel because Nine to five jobs. I don't know. <laughs> Nine to five jobs don't really pay. Yeah, I they, agree. They don't really pay. They give you crumbs to work your ass off. And if you're a hard worker. And you go to school, pay working. all this money for school, get in fucking debt, and you still got to pay something. Like, it's a never Or don't cycle. even have a, the job you go to school for. When yeah. You know, like, it's, it's whack. It's yeah, whack. so... I, I don't know. I just don't like it. I feel like we should be getting paid. Like uh, we need about six more. Um, what's some checks called? Six more. Um, what's some things that we get? We got oh, stimulus doing? checks. Stimulus yes. checks. <laughs> okay. Even for those of us that are doing good, we still need those checks because y'all owe money. us. Yeah, they do. We definitely <laughs> are. We is well overdue for reparations. Yes. I can't wait till the day they come. Y'all owe us. Like y'all. Especially owe us. for our grandmothers. Cause right, y'all owe us a good amount, so yeah, go ahead and run us our money, and yeah, what you think? Yeah, I agree totally with what you said. Um, 
you know, it's hard out here. So, of course, people, would, you know, some people just like, you know what, why work for the white man or I work for the corporate world when I can do this myself? And so they just survive. They survive off stimulus checks or they survive off of hope mm -hmm. that, you know, tomorrow they can wake up a millionaire. And that's cool and all. I just want to say for, for the stuff, the people who are survivors, because I am, I was one of those people. And I'm going to lie, like, keep surviving, but get you a job. Get mm -hmm. you a job because residual income, you always want to work as a business owner, as an entrepreneur, as somebody who wants to work for themselves. Residual income is the smart way. Yeah. And that's going to pave the way. Mm -hmm. And just stay focused. Like, I'm here for y'all surviving. Because mm -hmm. I... I'm probably low key still am one, <laughs> but get a job. Like, yeah. let's survive, but get this money too. Yeah, I'm big on careers too. Like, it, it's some jobs, it's some real good jobs out here. Like, y'all don't have to survive, but the government really made made it hard for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So that's why people, you know, go out and they want to get their own businesses. They want to do their own thing. But sometimes, you know, everything isn't for everybody. And sometimes you have to start with a job in order to build what you, where you're trying to go. I mean, how are you going to get the us, business with right, no money? Yeah, you're right. going to need a job. Yeah, correct. So you have to start you. Just got to be mindful. Like a lot of us have been, even like the, the people who are doing good for themselves have been in like survival mode. A mm -hmm. lot of us have been in that mode and it don't feel good. So at all. Because yeah. I'm still surviving. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're mild. But I didn't say mild. I said regular, but I guess she just did that anyway. It's good. Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all. So last topic. Let's take a little drink. If y'all are out, y'all are out there, go ahead and grab a shot, grab you a smoke, whatever you like to do, and do this yes. for us. We about to do this for the girls. We about to do this for girl power sure, and for us power. coming together and you know doing this little podcast for y'all. Hopefully, y'all really like this and y'all we can take this a long way. So yeah, I agree. And I was thinking like maybe we should eventually, along down the road, bring like guests. Yeah, for sure. You know, we probably could do it next. Go ahead and say this for my video because last time I didn't say it. Forgive me, I do have baby on here. <laughs> this won't happen all the time, I promise y'all. But this time, he's a little fussy. He's so but if y'all see me bending down and going over it, that's just what it is. So forgive me. This is a real podcast. We're gonna you're gonna be saying a lot of real stuff. Y'all gonna see a lot of stuff <laughs> go, going on. So forgive me. I'm here still. If you know, you know. Yeah. No <laughs> 50 50 in relationships. Hmm. I feel, a lot of, I feel like a lot of people take that for granted. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I just want to touch base on that. Like, mm -hmm. I've always felt like I've been 50-50 with everybody. Actually, sometimes I feel like I've give, given more. Them more. You know, and this is just with everybody. Not even just, like, actual intimate relationships. But friend, family, friends, whatever. I really feel like... People nowadays, because like social media is so strong now, and you you see how these celebrities act and basketball and football players act that, or you know what they've given to their spouse or whoever they with that you feel like, and this is this is touching based on like intimate relationships. You feel like ladies nowadays, especially our age, feel like a nigga's just supposed to just. Just spin, spin, spin. They supposed to just wake up. Like they want wife. And I'm not saying you shouldn't be treated like a queen because we we birth children. So yes, mm -hmm. we are top tier. He's working hard. Now all niggas don't even deserve being my piece because some niggas be out here just doing some bullshit. Mm -hmm. So you know, do what you gotta do, girl. But if he is out here, he's making sure that you straight and he really genuinely showed that he care about you. Like, just give. It's a give and take relationship because I don't know about you mm -hmm. or any of you ladies that will be watching this video. If, like, I get in a relationship with somebody that I know I can marry, that I know that I can have a baby by. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, 
-hmm. With that being said, you got to do the 50-50. It's just going to work out in the end, like, for longevity, right. you know. Okay, and so mm -hmm. I'm on the fence. Um, I love the 50-50. I'm so with the 50-50, um, definitely. But what I will say is recently I have been like, you need to take care of me. And I mean, oh, no, 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 no. It's not wrong. Uh-uh. I meant, okay. What can I say? Y'all don't beat me up in the comments. Because, <laughs> I mean, like, okay, so growing up, let me, let me just give y'all a story first. Growing up, I seen what my dad does. And what my dad does is he take care of everything. You get what I'm saying? He yeah. takes care of everything. My mom did little little things here, like maybe doing the Wi-Fi, doing the um the lights, doing the you know stuff like that, and um like cooking and stuff. Mm -hmm. But my dad majority was the man of the household. If right. you're the man of the household, I feel like you should play that role. Otherwise, then we got other things to talk about. And I agree. Um, and now you're not the, I'm not saying that you're not the man in the household, but you should be working. You should be at least, okay, I guess 50 50 is, yeah. Yeah, I get what you, I get what you're saying though. 50 like, 50. You know, be the man of the house. Yeah. Like, we live together, you're the man of the house. You're supposed to take care of everything. You're supposed to, yeah. You know? And of course, I'm not going to make you take care of everything. That's not what I'm right. saying. What I'm saying yeah. is, you as, you as a man, the, growing up, this is this is what we learned. I'm pretty sure you've learned that as well. Yeah. The man take care of the household. If you're the man, if you're the man, I'm not, if you're not the man, cool. But if you're the man of the household, you're supposed to take care of pretty much everything. Now, we will make sure that we have, like, the u utilities, everything around. We will uh -huh. make sure we clean. We'll make sure we... The you fed. you're fed you know <laughs> and stuff like that that's how i was brought up that's what i seen you mm -hmm. know so that that's what i think in my head but at the same time i do understand the 50 50 i get it we we can split stuff down the middle i, I that makes it easier I, yeah. I like that so you don't have to put all the stuff on the mail but if you have it mails if you're making that if you can provide like then provide choice. so that's yeah, and I totally agree with it. Yeah. And a lot a real man not gonna really want you to take care of any bills anyway, especially if he got it. True. You know, your money is supposed to be there just in case though. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But um it's supposed and to I, be our savings. Right, you know, and I feel I feel you <laughs> on that like a, 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 yes, yeah, take care of everything, especially if I'm playing my part, you know, and you're playing your part, like it shouldn't be no issue. I like when I say like fifty fifty though. Cause that's a given. That's yeah, like that is period a point blank. Like that's a given. 50 50, like, okay, you know he out here and he taking care of everything. And I'm not saying, okay, kiss his feet, <laughs> bow down to him type shit, but like Right, yeah. I get it. You know, be his peace. Yeah, like peace just be give him deserve it. Yeah, if he deserve it. If he deserve it for sure. Because I was definitely done. I was doing all of that for a nigga who definitely did not deserve it, who I'm not with today. Yeah. You know, but if he deserved it, like I, my motto is give love one more chance. Even if you was in a relationship with somebody who you gave the wifely duties to, who just was flat out a fuck nigga, mm -hmm. <laughs> give yeah. love one more chance. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And I did. And maybe I'm just so bubbly because I got a good dude. But no, I just love it. It's 50 50. It's, you gotta be 50 50. And this is something I'm learning within myself because I am a wife and I want to be married. Yeah, <laughs> I do. So. I'm sorry. <laughs> I do. So, yeah, I just. Yeah. yeah. Oh, one more thing. Oh, closing out, what I want to talk about is how you feel about paying for a date, paying for dinner. Oh, okay. So, if you ask me out on a date, you're gonna pay. You're going to you're pay. Going to pay. Period. Point blank. You're gonna pay. Now we in a relationship. We've been in a relationship for a long time. We go out. I'm just the type of person I will try to pay, but my man will not let me pay. Yeah, that's how I am, girl. I would be like, I got it. Uh, now, no, no, yeah, I'm gonna pay. I, I'm that type of girl. That's why I wanted to know, like, because I don't not not if you trying to date me. Hell no, nigga. I ain't paying for right. nothing. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, if we're in a relationship, we've already been dating. You know, I'm feeling your vibe. Da da da. Oh, okay. I'll pull out my wallet. You know, 
do a real cute one. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm with that. So that's why I wanted to know, like, how y'all feel? Y'all need to give me those, give me y'all thoughts about it in the comments. Yes, give us your thoughts about all of the topics that we talked about because yeah. it's good to know what yes. other girls feel about what we was talking about. And then also give us some ideas too. Yeah, you know? give us some ideas because we be struggling just a little bit. Mm -hmm. She came up with these ideas. This, this is real good. Mm -hmm. real we good. just start now. We yeah. need some time. We need some time. <laughs> yeah, y'all, but I think that's it. Yeah. All right. Thank y'all so much. This food was real good. We, mm -hmm. I try to be cute, but I, I was hungry. Um, but anyways, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, oh but goodness. for her too, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, yes, okay, y'all make sure y'all hit that bell down below so y'all can be notified once we post another video, and until next time, we love y'all, peace. Peace.